Okay, so I'm making, <clears throat> I'm trying to put all my lessons into, and you know, iBooks. Uh, so I've been using iBooks Author, and I really like the widgets in it, but they're a little limited, and I wanted the students doing some more interactive, um, you know, practice sessions and things. So I was digging around, trying to look for widgets, and I found this really cool app called Hype. Um, that lets you create your own widget. So I was playing around with it at work yesterday. Um, I'm doing my working on the primary source lessons. And so I put together this, or the start, and you won't believe how long this took, just trying to figure things out, but I put together the start of um, a lesson on analyzing cartoons. So I and, I've, and I'm just so chuffed about it. I thought I'd make a really quick video and show everybody what it does. Because, you know, if you are into iBooks author at all, you should definitely get this. So we'll do the little preview thing here. Ouch, cut it out. Got the cat. <clears throat> okay, so the only thing I've done is working with the subjects on this cartoon. So we'll click on subjects. And you see it has these little prompts going through. And I think I want to talk about the anarchist. Okay, I've already come up with my ideas of what I think he, he is. So let's look at there. You know, I give the kids what they should be thinking about this. Or one thing of what they should be thinking. Now I want to talk about Lady Liberty over here. And go back home. Isn't that cool? I would really love it if it would let kids input things. I mean, it's still kind of limited. Um, but I suppose if you're not, you know, if you can't write your own HTML5, you know, this isn't bad. So it's called Hype. Um, where's... What's the, I'm trying to remember what the name of the... company. If you just put in Hype and Widget, it'll come up. So pretty cool. It does, you know, the does take a while to figure out. It's kind of it. It does have the the the, the regular Mac interface. So like you know, there's the inspector. If you're used to working with pages and things, it does take a little while to figure out. But what was really helpful for me was on their website. Aside from the two basic video tutorials, they also loaded. Um, several examples that, that companies have used of creating their their own widgets. And you can download the file and kind of look at how they organize things, the, the, the command terms and everything. So that was really helpful in, in, in figuring this out. Um, so check it out. It's a good tool.